A few of the neighbours have turned up because in normal circumstances this would have been a huge funeral. Eric, his brother, is just going in to the graveyard and the older brother must be in the red car. Can
children and to Bertie's siblings. Uh, this is a difficult time where we recognise with the isolation that we find ourselves in, we're unable to receive uh, much of the comfort that we have from family and friends. But we look to God for our comfort at this time. The psalmist says this, I lift my eyes to the hills where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So let us pray. Lord of life and conqueror of death, you are our help in every time of trouble. And in the presence of death, you comfort those who mourn. We bow before you, believing that you bear our grief and share our sense of loss. So give us grace to worship you and to trust in your goodness and mercy and assure us that because Christ lives, we can live also through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gregory would like to say a few words now. farming. Farming with his, his brothers was his passion. And of course, you know, he spent a lot of time doing things like working on rebuilding this church with with Andy and Fred and, and Brian and, and Jack. You know, he, he put a lot of work and man hours into working on the, the church. And of course, as you all know, he was well known, very well known and well liked in the community. He's the sort of man that would go to a nursing home to visit somebody that, that he knew and he would go around and see who else was in there that he might know or find out who they are and go and visit them too you know he's just that sort of man and of course he was a wise man I mean he had a lot of wisdom he really did he knew a lot and and as you probably know he asked a lot of questions and because uh, he was you know part of it was he was always gathering data for the next local quiz that he could be involved in because he loved to quiz and you know you really like to have your, your Google available when he was with you because he's always asked you something and he needed to look it up because you never knew the answers, but, but he needed it. And you know, he had this amazing ability to recall lines from, it could be a classic novel, it could be Shakespeare, or even start quoting a poem. And actually, you know, while he was in the hospital there a few uh, weeks ago, you know, he was, he was sort of complaining about, you know, always being woke up uh, by the nurses to do blood pressure and get fed and all those things and at one point it comes out with the, the line and i shall have some peace there and we we're like what and uh, of course it ends up that that's a line from a poem and he told us all about it. it's called the lake isle of innisfree so i'd like to close by reading the lake isle of innisfree by william butler yes i will arise and go now and go to innisfree and a small cabin builder of clay and wattles made. 
nine bean rows will I have there? A hive for the honeybee and live alone in the bee lied glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the bills of the morning to where the crickets sing. There midnight's all a glimmer and moon of purple glow and evening full of the linnet's wings. I will arise and go now, for always night and day, I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. While I stand on the roadway, or on the pavement spray, I hear it in the deep heart's core. I'd like to thank, on behalf of the family, I'd like to thank everybody for all the, the phone calls, the cards, the, the hugs, the, the thoughts, the prayers, and the virtual hugs, really. Um, and you know, as we, as we go on with our day, let's just think about all those positive uh, memories we have of God. Thank you. Let us pray. And now we thank you that for Bertie, all pain and suffering are ended and that death itself is conquered. So help us to release him into your care and keeping in the confidence that all life finds its fulfillment with you in the joy of your everlasting kingdom. We commend to you those who will miss Bertie most in the days to come because they loved him best. Grant that they, casting every care on you, may know the consolation of your love. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. The poem that was read gives us a wonderful glimpse of the new heaven and the new earth that Jesus is bringing in. That started when he announced the words, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? And we respond, yes, we do. This is our hope. And so we have entrusted our brother Bertie into the hands of God. We therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died, was buried and rose again for us, and is alive and reigns forevermore. Let us pray. Eternal God, in Jesus Christ, you have given us a true faith and a sure hope. Help us to live as those who believe and trust in the resurrection to eternal life. Strengthen this faith and hope in us all the days of our life. And then bring us to that place where we will be one with you and with all the saints forever. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you all. <laughs>